As we usher January toward its close, Act Two Share Our Stage encourages you to leap in cannonball style to February. Make a big splash. Cowabunga. Take January's lessons along, choosing refinement over resolution, and thunder in unapologetically unencumbered by yesterday's foibles and folly. In preparation for the month associated with love, let's boldly address our emotional well-being and practice radical self-acceptance. True love, healthy love, can only begin with self-love. We acknowledge this road might be fraught with sundry road hazards, but take heart, be brave, and sally forth, pilgrim. This week you'll meet a true hero, Bevan Mugford, a successful businesswoman, thought leader, CrossFit junkie. In a profoundly moving and instructive podcast, Bevan shares a heart-wrenching and somehow simultaneously heartening story of love, loss, and lessons learned. Her second act is remarkable. Her third act, pure inspiration. Bevan emerged from the unimaginable trauma of her son's death to personal empowerment, finding new life mission and helping others rebuild and refine their lives. Her latest endeavor, assisting companies to support and understand their employees as whole people. Bevan embodies the virtue of outstanding leadership, role modeling both bravery and vulnerability. Somehow this conversation serves as a human interest story and a business how-to. Act 2 Share Our Stage provides business and personal resources, inviting our community to eliminate the can't by discovering the how so folks can live their why. This week, we encourage you to forget the outdated notion of stepping outside of the comfort zone. Instead, we invite you to grow your comfort zone, understanding discomfort as a part of the process of living. This week's meditation, Managing Emotional Pain, is a tool for the brave work of examining the interior landscape. Looking forward to February, you'll find an invitation to our Lost Art of Letter Writing campaign. Join us as we write a letter each day of February. Thank yous, love letters, overdue correspondences. For 28 days, we'll be slowing down, choosing our words carefully, and sending out some good old-fashioned snail mail. So gather stamps, cards, pens, and assemble a list of 28 people to whom you've been meaning to write. By month's end, we are confident you'll feel better. We can't wait to hear the upshot of spreading gratitude and positivity. Be brave, be vulnerable, dive in, cowabunga.